Genesis records the creation of God. In Genesis chapter 1, we see that God uh, is described as creating everything good. In fact, almost every day, we find that God ends the day by saying that all that he has created was good. And towards the end of creation, he says that his creation was very good. But as we read on and go to chapter 2, we find that God introduces things that are negative. Firstly, we see that God introduces a tree uh, that is called the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And in fact, later on in the text, we find that God says that uh, Adam should not eat from this tree. And it is then that we find that God says that something is not good. When you look at chapter 2, we find that Moses describes that God created man in his image by forming man out of the dust of the ground and he breathed into his nose the breath of life and that is how Adam became a living being. It is after that that God talks to Adam after placing him in the garden and says that you should not eat from a certain tree, but you can eat of any other tree in the garden. And that is found in verse 17 of chapter 2. But verse 18, we find that God says that it is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a help me. When we think about what God says here, what Moses wrote, it is very interesting because this is the time when Moses writes that there is something that God considers as not good. And what is it? God says that it is not good for man to be alone. Why is it not good for man to be alone? Of course, one of the reasons why we can say that it is not good for man to be alone is because of the nature of love. Love cannot be shared among itself. One person cannot love. There needs to be at least another person. Another person that is of equal nature. Someone who is of the same level. Yes, God could love Adam. Yes, Adam could love God. And both of them could discuss many things and share a relationship. But someone who was like him, God did not create until then. It was at that time that God said it is not good for man to be alone. Of course, the creation of another being was not an afterthought. God did not just simply decide on the spot after he created Adam. But Moses writes in such a way to show that both man and woman are important in the creation of God. Both of them have their own purposes and duties, and both of them were created to form God's image. So when we think about the creation of Eve or the woman, we find that God says, I will make him a help me, a helper. The word that is used for helper uh, is a word that is related to salvation, which means that God created another person so that both of them together might be able to help each other grow and preserve the image that God had created. What do you think about relationships in your life? Are they relationships that reflect the image of God? Or are they relationships that reflect your own image? Remember, the Creator created all of us to reflect His image and even created all of us in His image. And His image is beautiful. Why? Because His image is love. Don't you want to be in His image too?